can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. Welcome to BTR Outdoors, and on this episode, we're going to review and install these kayak inflatable stabilizers that we got from Walmart. So stay tuned and let's see how they turn out. Okay, before we start anything, let's see what's in the box. As you can tell, there's uh, three little bars. You got the middle bar and the two end bars that attach to the, uh, the inflatable pontoons. You got two inflatable pontoons and you got a bunch of hardware. Looks like some uh, screws, bolts, and some uh, well nuts, which anybody with a kayak has probably heard of well nuts. They work really good. We'll just have to see how we're gonna do this. Um, here's some more hardware. I don't think we'll be able to use this because my kayak's not designed to use this. But we still might could use some of the, uh, the hardware. As you can see, there's no instructions. There's no uh, brand or nothing. I'm not sure what brand this is. All I know, I got it on walmart.com. It had different sailors names and I will put that description in the link. It was uh, $42.99. And they were all the same setup. You got this right here, they use the same pictures. They were different colors and they range from price from $100 to, like I said, this was $42.99. So I ended up getting the cheaper one. And, but I will put the link in the description of the one I got. And let's get it installed on the kayak and see if it works. This might be a little difficult because there's no instructions. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, the first thing we have to decide is where we're going to put it. I was thinking about either right here or right here. But I have to see if that's going to be in the way of the paddles. I really can't put it up front because of where my feet is and that cargo. So it's going to have to go in the back. But I don't want it to interfere with my little crate and stuff. So let me install the seat on this and see where we can um, put the bars. Okay. I ended up putting the, the seat on. I put the milk crate. I got a fishing pole out to put in the rod holder. And in this area right here is probably the only place that I have a really good flat spot to install the hardware. The way it's not going to be in the way when I'm paddling, it's not going to be in the way of my rod holders, my seat, or the milk crate. And all this is still open. So, I think, yeah, that's where I'm going to put it. Okay, let's get this thing mounted and see if we can uh, get this done. Okay, that took me a little bit longer than I thought to get it placed. You see where I marked it with a magic marker where it's going to go. And I'm going to lose my little red milk crate. But I still have my two rod holders and I still can put stuff in that back compartment. And this is just some, um, I think, be a better place. It's more of a secure place to mount it. All right, let's get some holes uh, drilled. Uh, the hard thing is getting this thing lined up. Do one hole at a time, get the weld nut in there so I can get the other one in there perfect.
There we go. That thing's gonna be tight, and that's what we want. We want that to have a good tight fit. All right, let's do the other ones. Since we know how to get it going, let's get this thing uh, put on. Okay, finally got it to seat properly. So let's do the other side and hopefully that goes a lot smoother. Put a little spit around it. Could have edited this out but nope i'm gonna show you what happened i messed up big time i was uh measuring for the screws to go into these two spots when they should have been going to these so now i got a hole which i can i have some stuff some flex seal i can uh, patch that up but with the longer screws going into those weld nuts this thing is on there now where the other other way it was loose because the screws just weren't long enough to go through the top all the way through the bottom so that's how you do it the two long screws go on the outside and then i got two short screws that connect that right there that's how it does now this thing had instructions i might could have caught it but you know what you can always fix fix mistakes especially when working with kayaks and i have some stuff that will patch up that hole that's no problem i'll, I'll have to fix this side now but putting these longer screws on the very ends this thing is secure now so that's how you do it all right let's finish up this other end See if we can't get done. All right, when you do it right, look at this. It is on there. That's how you do it. I have another hole right there to patch up, but no problem. I got it on there right. Let's put the center bar on. Okay. Now, we can find my screwdriver. And put these short screws where they belong just to hold in place this center bar Too tight, I know where to get it perfect. It's pretty snug. Okay, and these other bars. 
while they do. Let's pop in just like that. Same way, disconnect them. So if this works better, it's gonna be so much easier to uh, load, unload this kayak. So it's so much easier to take apart. So let's look at the pontoons. Right, here's the extra patches if it gets holes in it. So they're pretty long. All right, let's see, how do we air these up? Again, no instructions, so let me. So you open this top, um, you open this top one to blow it up, and the bottom one you open up to let all the air out. There you go. All right, let's see if we can uh, see how this mounts on there. I put a little bit of water on this thing. There, this thing up again. So we take off the top one. Let's blow this thing up. Well, the air don't even uh, escape. I like that. Let's be a one way valve. Well, I just feel like pretty heavy duty. And I might have that upside down, I'm not for sure, but you get the gist of it. Then at the very end, we'll take one of these little pins. There you go. There you go. That is pretty simple. I'm going to look at the picture again and see if I have that upside down or what's going on. And of course I did have it upside down. But there you go. So far I'm liking them. It's going to be so much easier to uh, take them on and off, secure them, load them up. It's going to look a lot neater. I mean, I, we did lose our little storage thing in the crate in the back, but we still got a lot of room to put stuff back there. We can still rig it up pretty good, put some waterproof boxes back there. So, and the pontoons are really thick. So I'm happy with that. I guess the big, big question is, how's the stability going to be? And we'll just have to test that out. But so far, I'm liking it. I just wish it had instructions. It would have saved me some heartaches and less hose to patch up. But oh well, that's how. That's how it goes. Okay, I know I'm losing my light, but I got them both on. And I think they look sharp. I like them. Now, if they're really stable, man, that's the best 42 bucks I ever spent. All right. Good thing about this right here is 
it doesn't interfere with our paddle they set out real far to give us more stability i do believe man they, they look good they look good all right i want to thank you for watching this video of uh unboxing and installation of the kayak stabilizers uh, we did have a uh, little bit of trial and error but we got it figured out and that's probably the most important thing we got those babies installed um, be looking for some future videos of how to patch holes in a kayak and then going out and testing the stabilizers we got from walmart so be looking for those videos and i just want to say thank you for watching hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave me a comment you know I like answering all my comments. So y'all have a good one. And until next episode, I'll catch you later. <laughs>